Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to personalize your custom GPTs. If you've been watching any of my recent tutorials, I've been playing around a lot with OpenAI's custom GPTs and trying to push the bounds of what they can and can't do. Here in this tutorial, I'm showing you how I have figured a way to try and get some personalization out of the GPT. So I'll show you an example. If I say hello. The instructions given to the GPT are giving it the role of being a career development assistant. But if I say this, what is my name? So now it knows my name. Typically with ChatGPT or regular uh, GPTs, custom GPTs people have made, it won't have this information. There is no reason for it to know this specific user. But we, if we also say, I want to change careers, So it also knows information about me. It knows some experience, some of my professionals experience, some of my board experience, and it can provide tailored advice based on my personal experience without putting it in the knowledge base like I have. It would have to ask me a bunch of questions to gather the information and then it will be able to provide it. But here it already has the information in the database so it can just pull on that. If we're gonna show you one more, let's see. If I say based on my experience, what opportunities are there? It, or, it doesn't have to prompt me to gather information on my experience. It already has the information on my experience and it is just provided me the answers. One of the reasons I thought this was really interesting to do is because I have a theory, I believe in the future, a lot of these agents are gonna be a lot, lot more personalized and they are going to be able to dig into a trove of our personal information that we have granted it access to. So we can tailor information without requesting it every time we talk to it. If I can show you what's under the hood, what we'll be able to see here is I do, I've given it basically my resume of all the board experience I have. That is in the knowledge base. That is what it's pulling, pulling on when it's for my name, for, uh, my experience, that's what it's using as a foundation. And this is the way that I've done this. Now, the disadvantage of doing it this way is that it can be very static. And when I say static, I mean, this is not changing. We're not calling no API where we have a database where we're dynamically adding and taking away information. When we put it in a knowledge base like this as a PDF, it's in a static format that we're not able to change on demand, we're going to have to go into the back end or go into the GPT builder and remove files and upload files rather than it happen dy dynamically. For example, I envision a future where potentially a GPT might know the history, my location history. It might be able to pull on my location history. It might be able to pull, pull on my health history on when I went to the gym and and my results in the gym and be able to give me tailored advice without me having to give it all that information all the time. And this is where I think these custom GPTs might be going. What I have here for the instructions is very, very simple. Just to demonstrate for the tutorial, I basically said, hey, your career advisor GPT, provide career advice, but personalize the conversation based on what you know about the user from their resume in your knowledge base. And I gave it an example, like use the user's name where possible or relate the information to their background. 
this is how I begun to personalize GPTs and kind of explore what custom, like hyper personalized assistants actually look like in the real world. If you have any questions, please let me know and happy hacking.